When it comes to learning and using Blender, we all know that almost every step feels like an obstacle and a new thing to try to learn. And this usually turns into countless hours of frustration and leads to you not finishing your projects. So we've compiled a list of top Blender add-ons that'll save you hours of stress. So make sure to drop a like on this video. And as always, let's start this in. So you finally finished your modeling after countless hours, days, or even weeks, and the next step can be a bit confusing. The next thing we need to do is check the model for any errors, and normally this is about an eight step process, but with Instant Clean, you can fix all of your mesh errors in a single click. With Instant Clean, you can fix normals, face orientation, auto smooth, and even dissolve geometry. This allows you to remove unnecessary geometry while maintaining the shape and integrity of your mesh. Instant Clean is your one-click solution for changing your topology from tries to quads. No matter how big or small the job is, Instant Clean is your solution for any issues you run into with your mesh. So now that your mesh is perfect, you may now want to bring in some extra assets into your scene. And with 4.2, you can drag and drop your assets in. But if you're on an older version of Blender like me, you know how frustrating Blender's default asset browser can be. And that's where Quick Asset Creator comes in. Quick Asset Creator allows you to import FBX and OBJ files from any given folder path within a single click. Quick Asset Creator allows you to automatically generate materials from an image. And with this add-on, all you have to do is set the appropriate file path directory and let the rest happen. You can even easily append directly from another blend file. So it's now more easy than ever to rediscover your old assets and organize your new ones in a few simple clicks. Quick Asset Creator can scan your entire computer, saving you countless hours of searching and appending files. So now we have the most hated and avoiding step in 3D modeling, and that's dealing with UVs. Whether it's unwrapping marking seams, these tedious tasks take most of the fun out of 3D modeling. So with an auto unwrapper, unwrapping your models and marking seams has never been easier. Unwrap Me is a powerful automatic seam generator for Blender that lets you seam an entire mesh, or for greater control, grow seams by simply selecting one or more faces. Many mesh seams can be seamed automatically, and every update brings Unwrap Me closer to being a fully automated unwrapper. And with this add-on, generating seams is always faster than cutting manually. Unwrap Me is also able to deal with low distortion UV maps as it creates larger, better connected, similar size charts, better than the original default UV Smart Project. So now that you have your model unwrapped, the next step is to pack the UV islands into a single tile or multiple UDIM tiles. And this can be the most difficult part in modeling as you need to understand how texel density and spacing UV islands works in order to get your desired resolution. And without the help of an amazing add-on like UV Pack Master 3, this is another tedious task that may keep you from finishing your render. So with UV Pack Master 3, you can far surpass the default island packing system in Blender. It includes four default packing modes, single tile, tiles, and group to tiles, as well as group together. This covers everything you need, including a functionality for UDIM tile workflows. But it doesn't just stop there. UV Pack Master 3 also comes with 11 advanced packing methods, including pack to others, pixel margin, and stack groups. These methods ensure optimal texel density as UV Pack Master implements advanced algorithms to be able to size and maneuver your UV islands to the best position every time. With the hardest part out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the fun stuff. There are many options to texture an item inside of Blender, but if you want to stay inside of Blender, I highly recommend to check out Extreme PBR. With a vast library of over 1,800 ready-to-go materials and with a resolution of up to 8K, you can purchase this excellent library of materials at your desired resolution. With Extreme PBR, you can add imperfections to your materials as well as import and use your own materials with the shader maker. Extreme PBR even comes with the ability to be added to your asset browser, but you can also use this add-on inside of your end panel with all the parameters right at your fingertips, so now you don't have to deal with the dreaded shader nodes. But if you want to use your own PBR materials inside of Blender without having to deal with the tedious task of manually setting up your nodes, I highly recommend Auto Material. Auto Material is an advanced tool that automatically links textures to materials using their names, so even if you your photos aren't organized, Auto Material is able to sift through the file names, find the appropriate texture maps. With Auto Material, you can even apply your texture maps to multiple objects. You can also remove all unwanted and duplicate materials from your scene in a single click, making this add-on a must-have for anyone who is looking to import textures without having the hassle of setting up nodes. Now that you have your model textured, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and set up our render views. And if you're new to Blender, having to search everywhere for camera settings or even having to switch back and forth between your viewport to refine your camera can be quite a headache. With quick camera settings, you can easily set up and manage your cameras inside of Blender, including lens and focal length. Quickly bind your selected camera to the timeline as well as add all of your custom camera shortcuts. And now that you have your camera set and selected, the only thing left to do is animate your camera 
And inside of Blender, this requires tons of keyframing of your animations. And if you want to do something more than a basic slide, you're going to have to check out CinePack. CinePack has an extensive collection of over 120 simple and advanced camera movements. This pack is broken into 10 categories, including cinematic, pan pushes, and speed ramps. This will save you tons of time, whether you are new or advanced. There is no keyframing or parenting cameras. Just go ahead and pick that animation from the list that comes with previews and you are done. And now that we've reached that final step, all we have left is start the render. And rendering itself can be a bit confusing for newcomers, not understanding how sample rates and denoising works and how to get that shot just like you want it. Plus scenes with tons of assets and volumetrics can take tons of time. So to combat that, I highly recommend the best add-on for Blender renders and that is Turbo Tools. Turbo Tools is an incredible add-on that allows you to render at lower sample rates while not only retaining your image quality and with Turbo Tools Stable Diffusion System, you will also get a superior image quality. All this is done within about usually five times your normal render speed. All the settings you will need are pretty straightforward and with the extensive user guide, you can't go wrong with this add-on. And without diving too deep into this add-on, I highly recommend it to any Blender user, whether new or seasoned. Turbo Tools takes my render animations that take about 3 hours and completes them in about 40 minutes. The speed increase alone is worth the price in my opinion. So now that we have finally completed a professional quality render thanks to these incredible add-on creators, make sure you go ahead and head to that description down below. They are affiliate links, so clicking those links will directly help this channel. So that's it for this one. If you like this video, please hit that button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell as well as it helps our channel tremendously. And as always, until next time, take care of yourselves and each other.